Hi guys, today I have a uh, collective haul from a few different places, Target, JCPenney, uh, Alloy Magazine, and Dots. So I just want to get into it right now and I'll show you guys what I have going. Um, the first thing that I got was from Target and this was a Revlon, um, this is the Balm Stain and these things have been all over the place on blogs and YouTube and stuff like that. And this is the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. So this is it and this is it in Rendezvous. So the it's a crayon type of thing. It's supposed to be a combination between a balm and a stain. The nail polish I'm wearing is Zoya Elodi. Um, they're not the same. This is more pink. This is more orange. So just uh, in case you think that it's matching. So this is like an orangey coral color. I'll show you um, a swatch. And that's like how it comes out. I put on a lot more than that so it comes out a little brighter. I actually had this on in one of my recent videos. Whichever video it is, because I don't remember. Um, I think it was my Birch Box video, but I'll write it in the down bar. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the Birch Box video. Um, but it's really pretty, like a corally color. Uh, it's not an unwearable coral. It's definitely wearable. It's light with a buildable color. You could just keep adding. Um, and as I said, it's a balm stain, so it's basically a stain, so it'll stay, it has a long staying powder, power, um, but it'll stay for a long time, but it won't feel dry, it won't have that dry feel that a lot of stains feel. It has a, like, lip balm feel to it, even though it is a stain and has the power of a stain. So, I kind of like that so far. Um, the pr I'm actually not sure of the price, because I had a coupon for $3 off, um, which you can get if you got those Target, like the Summer Beauty sampler pack that you sign up for that you get every season. Um, there was a coupon in there. Um, you should be able to Google it and probably find some coupons because these are new. There's a ton of colors that I'm interested in. My Target only had about three colors left and most of them were really too dark for the summer. So this is pretty good for now. And it's um, I had this on all day and it was really hot yesterday and it didn't budge at all. So it's probably you know awesome to not have to worry about if you're going out or going to the beach or something. Um, to keep this on and not worry about it coming off. I also picked up another Revlon product and that was one of the um, lip butters and this is in Candy Apple. And I wore this one on my um, 4th of July out for the day video. And this is just a really pretty red color. Um, and these, as you guys know, the lip butters, they're just awesome. They're like the pigmentation of a lipstick with the um, with like the glossy color of um, like a gloss, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but this one is cool because it doesn't have glitter in it, so a lot of them have glitter, but this one doesn't, it's a pretty red, and it's very, I, I think it's flattering on, I mean, it's up to you and how you feel about red lipsticks and stuff, but I think it's, um, a little softer and more approachable than the average red lipstick because it is, um, it is like a little sheer, so you just have to build it up a little, but I like that one a lot. Um... And another thing I've been using lately was from the um, Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, and that's the C.O. Bigelow Organics in uh, Golden Peach, the moisturizing lip shine. And this doesn't have a color, at least that I can discern, but it um, it's like clear. I have it on over my lipstick right now, and um, it's just clear and shiny, and it tastes like peach. I'm very accurate peach, I might add. And that's usually $7.50. I think I got it for like $3 during the sale. So, I also want to show you some stuff I got from Dots. If you guys have ever or never heard of ta Dots, it's kind of along the lines of like Rainbow, um, Rainbow, Wet Seal, like places like that where it's like kind of cheaper, uh, what I call disposable clothes. Um, they're really, you know, like Forever 21 kind of, but less of a choice. If you've ever been to Rainbow, it's like Rainbow. Um, some of the stuff can be a lot, like a little tacky or trashy, um, but sometimes you'll find something that's worth it. And you know, sometimes you'll buy something there and you'll put it in the wash and it'll come out just disintegrated. But sometimes you'll have something there that you've had for, you know, 10 years and it lasts and like it's like iron. Um, so it's kind of a, a gamble when you go there. But um, they had a really, really big clearance sale where um, clothes items on clearance will buy one, get one free. So I think I spent like eight bucks in total and I got a few things. Um, and these are things that I've bought in the past and I know to be good. Um, and these are these tank tops. And these were on clearance for $3 each. And um, it was buy one, get one free, so it was two for $3. Um, they're really stretchy, like really stretchy. Um, and they have this stretchy lace panel at the bottom. Look how stretchy it is. Um, so I have stretchy lace panel at the bottom and up at the top. 
Um, obviously, I wear these under things, so when I, if I wear something that has like a v-neck and you can see too much uh, skin, or it's something that like um, is a little short, the lace will peek out on the bottom and it's like a nice touch instead of just like a plain tank top where the lace will peek out at the top. And that's kind of comfortable. Um, this is an extra large, I wear an extra large, but if you ever planned on wearing these as like an actual shirt, they are extremely um, body hugging. So if you plan on wearing them as just your shirt, I plan, I, unless you have like a, the completely smooth, no ridges, no bumps body, you should probably size up if you plan on wearing it as a shirt. And this is, these are originally $8 by the way, and they were on sale for three, and then it was the um, buy one get one free. So, and this is it in white, I picked up the white one. And the white I just thought was good. They didn't have black or like a nude if they did, or a gray. I would have bought that immediately. They had like white, pink, and then a ton of neon colors. I love the neon colors, but I don't see them as being that versatile. Um, so the white's cool, too, because you can just have the white like peek out under a shirt. If you have like a, um, like a button-down shirt, the white lace to peek out, that would be nice. I also picked up, um, and this I'm kind of regretting that I picked this up, um, one of these like bando bras, and I got it in a neon color. Um, because I usually don't see them when I wear them. And this is it. It's neon yellow. It's, that's the accurate color right now what you're seeing. Um, so it's even messing up my screen. Look. Okay, yeah. So that's the accurate color. And it's a, um, I got it in a 1X. And it's usually five fifty. It was on sale for $4. So, and these were, again, buy one, get one, uh, free for clearance. It comes with the straps, um, I might use and... I don't know, it's very stretchy, as I said, it has the molded cups inside, and you wear it straight across. The only problem is that I find that it kind of smushes everything, like, down, um, which isn't the most attractive look in the world. But I do have a strapless maxi dress, so this can go under that, and I can use it for that. Um, so when I bought that, I got this for, I got one item for free on clearance, so I got these. And I don't have the original price on these. I think it was similarly priced, like, five, and then on clearance for four, but, um... And this is it. These are neon pink, and that's the accurate color. Actually, they're brighter than that. And they're just a pair of shorts. And they're the same, like, I don't even know what this material is. It's You'd know it if you felt it. It's nylon and spandex, so it has that, like, tight, I don't know. But um, it's not a compression short at all. It's just shorts to wear. Um, and they have, like, the seam. But I've been wearing these under dresses and skirts, like, um for both modesty and to uh, avoid any kind of like chafing or anything um, but these stretch a ton and these fall um, kind of like mid thigh but you can make them go to your knee if you needed them to so those are cool they get a little hot though after a certain amount of time I also picked up this two pack of belts and this was two for five so I guess in total I spent what is it five six seven eight and something so it was twelve dollars um, so this this two pack of belts and the neon um, orange and neon pink they also had a neon yellow and like a medium blue pack but I thought this was fun the orange is more orange and less yellow in real life I'm seeing but the pink is pretty real the way that it's showing up and these I like a lot um, the only problem is that they're too big so you could wear them like together or separate but I like them I like them together because I actually have a black dress that I would really like to wear them with um, to give like a color thing. The only problem is that I bought them in an extra large and they're, the holes don't go like deep enough. They're actually really, it's way too big. Um, so on this you should probably size down. Granted, I'm not wearing it on the hips like where a pants would be. I'm wearing it like up on the waist and they don't like, I don't know, they just don't button. I might have to, um, I might have to punch holes in them but yeah I like these and they're cute for um, like I said with the black and uh, adding them to a dress to create like a waist and they're very thin so um, they're not that noticeable so after that I picked up that's all I got from Dots um, I went to JCPenney and JCPenney has like all the dresses on clearance right now like all their summer dresses um, I've been searching through it, and everything they have is either not my size, or, you know, not clearanced enough, or whatever, but I found one dress that I just tried on on a whim, because it was in my size, and then I realized how much the price was, and I just had to get it, and it's this color blocked dress, and it has this coral, this is more, um, peachy coral in real life, it's not as pinky coral as it's showing up, um, with this cowl neck, and then it goes down to this purple 
yeah, it's pretty true to life. Purple, the whole length. And it has this black belt that comes with it. I'm not a fan of this particular belt. I might add a different belt, but it's like one of those stretchy belts. Um, but the fact that it has black means that I would be able to maybe pair this with like black tights and boots in the winter or the fall. But um, for the summer, this would be really cool with, I think, nude shoes to do this with. And I like the way it fits. Um, I want to kind of show you guys how it sits on um, the thing. But I can't. But it comes to just above the knee and um, the top kind of blouses over. And this does sit low. So, I mean, it covers everything, but it gives the impression of this kind of like scandalous looking cleavage. Um, the original price, this is an extra large, the original price on this there's so many clearance stickers over it, I can't even see the original price. Um, and JCPenney, as I've mentioned, has really done their prices, like re-upped their prices. So this is originally $30, and I got it for $10. So as you can see right there, I got it for $10. So this I thought was really cool. I might actually wear this on my birthday, because we were planning on going to like a rooftop bar kind of place. And this is like a light material, it's um, I don't even know what the material is, but it's um, it's a really lightweight, like loose flowing material and, but it, it like, it sits nicely on the body, it's not like baggy, it's a nice like body curve enhancing kind of dress, I like it a lot. Um, and I didn't expect to, so that was good. And the last thing was from Alloy Magazine, and that was to prepare for the um, Batman movie coming out, The Dark Knight Rises. I don't know if I'm going to post this video before or after the movie comes out, um, but if it's after, uh, I'm sure I loved it. If it's before, then you can get this maybe for yourself to wear to the movie. Um, we usually go to like the midnight showings of movies like that, like we did with The Avengers, um, and it's always so much more interesting when you go to the midnight showing because it's silent like everyone really wants to be there really wants to see that movie and you know people come in costume that's crazy um i don't go in costume but i did get a nice shirt for it now this shirt and it has like the v-neck and it has this on the arms it's kind of like a dolman sleeve look like see how it's not like cut in like that like it's loose like that um and that's just plain white on the back but it has the weathered looking Batman symbol and a v-neck. Now this alloy is like a juniors, teenage kind of age um, online website and, and uh, catalog. Um, so I expected everything to run small but the reviews all said that they, this runs huge. Um, as, I, as you see I usually wear an extra large but I picked up a large in this and it's still massive on me. So um, don't trust the, the sizing guide on there because it's wildly inaccurate. Um, this, I don't even know, I mean, this is, it's loose on me, but it's not like, I don't know, it's loose on me to the point where it looks a little, like, baggy or frumpy, but like, I don't know, it's kind of sheer, so I don't know if it would have been the best. I'm actually gonna, here, let me just pop it on, and you guys can see, okay, now, so this is over another shirt, okay, and it's a size smaller than I usually wear. So, you could see it's baggy here a lot, but not in like a, oh, you could tell that's supposed to be like that. Like, it just kind of looks like it's big on me kind of a way. Um, the sleeves are loose. There's a lot of space. This is loose. Um, the v-neck comes down pretty far, comes to here. And now if I didn't have this shirt under it, it would come like that. Um, and you could just see it's just kind of, and this is over another shirt. And it's still kind of big. Um, it's definitely not like a form-fitting uh, shirt or anything like that. So um, I like it, but maybe you might need to, like if you're like a small, this thing's going to, in your size with the equivalent, this thing's going to be massive on you. Um, as an extra large, you could size down. Um, if you're a bigger size, you can go, you know, maybe find your size if it wouldn't have been available beforehand. But... I honestly think that maybe I should have bought this in the extra large and then it would have been like longer and I could have just worn it with like leggings as like a loose like tunic kind of a thing. But um, I think I'm just going to wear this with really skinny jeans, like really tight ones to kind of offset the fact that this is so loose, you know, so it's not like a frumpy 
outfit. Um, I do really like the style though. I think it's really cute and I think it's not, I haven't seen this in the stores anywhere so I don't think anybody else will have it when we go to the movie. Um, so other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. If you go see the movie, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Eek.